Hi YouTube, I am back, or I never left, I just was taking my sweet time, but I lost a couple subscribers, so I thought maybe that means I need to make a video, but if you can't tell, I am in a new environment. I moved for an internship, and I've been here for about two weeks at this point, and I feel finally like settled in I'm getting used to being here and living here by myself so I've got my own little apartment and yeah that's why I've been gone for so long because you know I was enjoying my summer I had um, some trips and then I had to mentally prepare to come here and then I moved here and of course the Sun is like beaming and making it's changed the lighting I'm sorry I'll back up some, but I'm not moving from right here because, yeah. But today I went shopping, I cleaned my whole apartment, I went and got my car wash, which, which was amazing. Literally went through the car wash and then the people who work there, you know, vacuum it out for you. So I said 10 out of 10, love that service. So that was an in and out, much faster than I anticipated. And it was actually warmer than I thought, so I was like, I'll go shopping a little bit. Um, so the first place that I went to was Old Navy. You guys know I just love Old Navy. And one thing about moving here, um, it's just the difference in when you're shopping and just the atmosphere. Like in every store, it's just so morbidly quiet. It, it really bothers me. Like I'm not used to that. Where I live, you know the stores just aren't morbidly quiet like there's people shopping there's people talking how hi how are you it's you know groups of friends mom and her kids you know and people talk to each other and i just felt like every store i went into there was like little to no people including old navy but old navy always gives me the vibes you know old navy was one of my favorite jobs i'm not even gonna so i saw this tiktok um and i liked the outfit that she had and I wanted it um, and I'm pretty sure this is the right fleece that she was wearing in that video if not I like it I tried it on I love it um, I'm working in what's basically a group home and our dress code is basically like the same dress code as the kids I'm sorry that the lighting keeps changing because the Sun is trying to pass it's five o'clock so you know I hope it's not too distracting, but I got this dynamic fleece um, quarter zip. So it's just black. It's got some pockets that zip right here, which are which are good. Oh, what I was saying was that we abide by dress code, which is basically your high school dress code is you know what we've got going on. So considering it's fall and it's getting cold, I just thought something like this. It's cute to throw on, comfortable, and you know, I only have to drive literally a minute up this hill and I'm at work. So I got this, and this was originally $44.99, but I'm pretty sure I got it for like $35.99. So it was on, I think it was like 20% off. I would have liked, it makes me wanna cry because I missed my 50% off discount. You know, I paid quite a bit for this and I could have paid 50% off if I still worked there. That is just makes me want to go back. But at least I got, you know, coupon. And then I got these joggers, which I know aren't the same one, aren't the same ones that the girl was wearing in the TikTok, but I've been wanting these joggers since when I worked there. I don't know why I never bought them, but I got them now. These were full price. I paid $40 for them, $39.99, yeah. I paid full price for them, but I'll get a lot of wears out of these. I can't wear regular leggings because those are too tight. So, I mean, these might get a little snug, but they're technically joggers. So, if somebody wanted to argue with me, you can look up joggers, okay? And then, that's all I originally went there for, but then I found this jacket in the active wear as well and i just thought for a day that i want something a little tighter that this would be perfect i've got something like this in my amazon cart <laughs> but it's basically this and then it has the holes which i love the holes on the sleeves 
and it's got the zipper pockets and I really love it. This was also like 20% off or something like that. So originally $49.99 I want to say. I got it for like $39.99 or yeah, I think $39.99. So that's what I got from there. I wish I could have got more. I really liked this, um, those, their shackets. I really want a shacket and the other leggings, but they didn't have my size in black. So I didn't get that. The next place I went to, what was the next place? that I went to. Oh, I went to pink because I really wanted this other like, you know, I may as well do it up with the sweatpants and all that because it's all I could, I feel like I could really wear. Um, but they did have my size in the pants so I just was discouraged for getting anything. Left that store, I looked and bought some, just saw things that I loved, but I behaved myself and I left. Um, staying for Hot Topic and then I went to Spencer's. That's where I went. Had to break it down for you guys. What the Spencer's? All right, if the angle's a little different, it's because I had to make some room on the camera. This video is all over the place. I'm sorry, hi, I'm back. Um, next was Spencer's because I really want to get a lanyard for my, you know, I have a whole bunch of keys to get in like all the buildings and stuff like that, and my name card, and I went all week without a lanyard. So I got one, and this is the Nightmare Before Christmas. They had um a Coraline one that I really liked but if they would have had Coraline in this material then I would have bought it but they had the key and I felt like that could have like broke very easily especially if like when the kids try to yank on me or take my keys from me um you know it'll break again if the angle change just bear with me okay and then I was going to leave there, but I kind of slipped up and I saw these belly rings and I really want some more belly rings because I got this one a while back um, and another one, the other one broke. Um, so that sucks because it was really cute. There we go. I got these belly rings. I want to start getting the pack so that way I can actually switch them out because that's the crazy thing. I got my belly pierced, my belly button pierced when I was like 18 and for the longest time I never like looked and changed because I thought, you know, your belly is probably sensitive but it's, my, my skin isn't really that sensitive. It's just like the earrings. So the same way I put in fake $199 earrings like these right here. These are fine, and it was $19.99 for three, so I thought that was pretty cool. So I got those, and then I went over to Bath and Body Works because um, when we were moving in, or when I was moving in, I went and got a couple of candles, and I meant to grab, and I know I grabbed pumpkin pecan waffles, and the girl gave me leaves instead. So I'm not mad at it because I was going to get leaves too, but pumpkin, pecan apples, I mean pumpkin, pecan waffles just gives more of like the fall vibes and smell and yeah, I just, I wish she would have given me the candle I wanted because the smells, I love the smells, but I want it to be more pumpkin-y, it's not pumpkin enough in here. Um, but I also got spiced pumpkin patchouli. I got this one last year and I love it because it reminds me of the smell of Home Goods and TJ Maxx right when they put out the fall stuff. That's what this smells like to me. So I got that and then I got my pumpkin pecan waffles, which is my favorite fall scent ever. So yeah, I can't wait to bring these girls I got two two wicks because you know your girl was on a budget but I wanted two cents so I got these two and I can't wait to burn them and it finally smell like pumpkin in here and then next I wanted to check out the Barnes and Nobles because Barnes and Nobles and the Barnes and Nobles here I, sh I wish I had my camera to like record maybe I should record on my phone but but the Barnes and Nobles here is two stories it's super huge and it looked very nice. Again, nothing like home because I just realized how homesick I am and how much I love my hometown. Like I know people hate 
their hometown because there's nothing to do but like home is just home to me home is just that feeling you get um familiarity the culture of home i just i miss home but this Barnes and Nobles was nice anyway. And I finally got my hands on the Selena with Love memoir by Chris Pettis, which was her husband. I've been wanting to read this for forever because I love Salinas. I love Salinas. And her love story with Chris is so, you know, precious and beautiful. And you know, her family can be sometimes so I really wanted to hear about their story in his words so I can't wait to read this I think I'm gonna start reading it tonight I wanted to play my sims tonight don't know kind of think I'm gonna start reading this but I'm super excited that I got this book and then I went to CVS on the way back home because I washed my car so I needed some more you know trees so I got my trees and I hung it up and then I'm running low on some skincare. So you guys have seen this a million times on my channel. This is holy grail. So I just got those. That's everything that I bought today. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that haul and my little mini life update. I mean, there's not much to share other than, you know, I um, Went on a couple summer trips to New York and Florida and um, Bush Gardens. I just spent quality time with my family and I worked and I moved here in the mountains for my internship. So I just want to check in with you guys today and let you know what was up with me and why I hadn't posted a video in a month. I think it's been a month, which isn't even that long. So I just don't understand why I lost five subscribers, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, yeah, so that's my check-in, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas of what you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. Give this a like and subscribe if you would like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!